2018-2019 school year. Thank you for a first day of school. It seemed to go very well despite the heat. It's been great to have everybody back for the last few days and uh, turn our campus back into a school community. I want to offer a special welcome to our new students and our new faculty and staff. On behalf of the entire community, we're excited to have you here with us and we wish you a successful school year as well. Please join the Lower School Hackley Club and senior members of the Choral Ensembles in singing the Hackley Alma Mater. Let's just do it together. 
Welcome to the 2018 to 2019 school year. I hope it's nothing like you've ever seen before. Thank you. Thank you, Zaya, for sharing your thoughts with us. I too hope that everyone makes the most of the opportunities afforded by Hackley. So I look forward to working with you and the rest of the community council to make to continue making Hackley a great place to work and live and grow. I appreciate your leadership. Thank you. Sai's message was an important one for us at the start of the school year, and it fits well with things that I wanted to say. As in previous years, my message stems from a book, one that I think has special relevance at the start of the year. The book, Courage, by Bernard Weber, opens with the following lines. There are many kinds of courage, awesome kinds and everyday kinds. Still, courage is courage, whatever kind. Often we think of courage in grand contexts. Service members in the armed forces, police, firefighters, and other first responders display courage in their daily work. We are grateful to them for the courage they display in keeping us safe. Those are the awesome kind of courage to which Weber refers. Today I am less focused on the awesome kinds and more on the everyday kinds. Courage is riding your bicycle for the first time without training wheels. I like his example of courage because it, defi it is defined by a willingness to try something new an important reminder for all of us at the start of the year, and very much in line with Zaya's thoughts. For many among us here today, just being at Hackley is new, whether it's new students, new faculty, or new staff members. Others are returning to a familiar campus, yet are in a new division as fifth graders or ninth graders. Perhaps you are taking a class in a new discipline or playing a new sport this year. In each of these ways, Individuals are demonstrating the personal courage required to try something new. Other examples of courage from the book are equally relatable to school. Courage is the bottom of the ninth. Tie score, two outs, bases loaded, and your turn to bat. Courage is a spelling bee, and your word is superciliousness. It is easy to imagine moments this year when you might be called on to demonstrate courage in these ways and others. Maybe you will perform on stage, either as part of a chorus or a musical ensemble or in a theater production. Maybe you'll participate in debate. These examples and others led me to think about the core work that happens in our classrooms. As students, you are called upon to perform on a daily basis by participating actively in the intellectual life of the school. You are asked to share your thoughts and ideas through your writing, by developing computer code, by drawing and painting and creating sculpture, by formulating editorials, and by most frequently participating in class discussions. Each of these examples requires small acts of courage because you are sharing your ideas and your talents with others. You are making yourself vulnerable in those moments, and that is an act of courage. These moments, while small, are essential to your learning and that of your classmates. Notice and celebrate these acts of courage in yourself and others. Share your talents and hard work with your peers. Take a risk on an assignment. Be intellectually courageous. There are other examples of courage from the book that I like, all of which highlight the final type of courage I want to share. Courage is nobody better, nobody better pick on your little brother. Courage is being the new kid on the block and saying flat out, hi, my name's Wayne, what's yours? Courage is being the first to make up after an argument. These lines speak to the courage of one's character those personal traits and values that form the basis of our decision making, our words, and our actions. Often this form of courage is the hardest to summon, especially when the challenge is based in our relationship to one another. We often talk about this as doing the right thing, even when difficult or unpopular. As we each go about our work in the school, our collective willingness to make the right choice, to demonstrate our own moral courage, is what keeps us together as a community. Although I am the one delivering this message right now, I need you to know that your teachers, coaches, and advisors believe in it as well. Personal courage, intellectual courage, and moral courage can be found in Hackley's Portrait of a Graduate, which faculty helped develop last year. This aspirational vision of a Hackley education can be found displayed on posters in classrooms, offices, and hallways around the school. In addition to the book's connection to the Portrait of a Graduate, I also like that it lacked a main character. The book is a collection of people doing both the ordinary and the extraordinary. In a sense, we, the Hackley community, are the characters in this book. And as the collection of individuals that builds and sustains our community, the book closes with a line I found particularly wise. Courage is what we give to each other. 
This is my hope for each of us as individuals and for us as a community, that we give each other courage, that we build each other up, and in turn, that we build up the Hackley community. As you head into classes and into practices and into hallway conversations today and the days ahead, be aware of the moments that require courage, either yours or somebody around you. Celebrate acts of personal courage and trying something new. Honor moments of intellectual courage and the consideration of new ideas. Perpetuate acts of moral courage in standing for matters of principle. And most importantly, give that courage to others. Here's to a great year, Hackley. Thank you. So because we are a community of students and adults, it's important that we come together one last time as a community before convocation ends. So we're going to go ahead and do the happy cheer that we've done over the last year. So on the count of three, I need particularly to hear from those in the front. We're going to say, go half. Okay, everybody ready? The count of three, all together. One, two, three. Have a great school year. Motor school, 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 school,